Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nathan here and today I have come with a very amazing problem on surface tension. It is force of attraction of uh, bubbles. Guys, liking, sharing, subscribing is lost. So keep liking, keep sharing and keep subscribing. Uh, so here is the problem statement. Two soap bubbles made of same liquid of surface tension T are having radius of R1 and R2 are merging together. What will be the initial attractive force between the soap bubbles? Assume that the common interface can be assumed as uh, nearly flat at the initial instant. So this is the assumption we have to make. So concept part of this problem will be the change in surface energy of soap bubbles is associated with the work done by the attractive force. So whatever force we have to calculate here uh, that is related to the change in surface energy. So let's say here uh, these are the initial instant. So let's say when this uh, merging process uh, starts. Uh, this is the common interface now and uh, this x1 and x2 these are very small distances you can say at the initial moment uh, they are almost uh, close to zero so r1 is very very large compared to x1 and even this uh, r2 is very very large compared to x2 now in any one of the circle you can apply uh, pythagoras uh, theorem here you can say this is the r1 and this radius is uh, smaller and uh, here uh, you can say this is going to be r1 minus x1 all right so we can apply pythagoras theorem here and if we simplify this we are going to get small r square is equal to 2 r1 x1 the same process we can do for the second one and we will be getting that uh, are as uh, 2 r2 x2 and as i have initially mentioned both x1 and x2 are uh, extremely small distances so we can take uh, x1 very very small compared to r1 and r2 all right now after this i'll uh, write initial uh, surface energy of the bubbles please remember there are two surfaces so for one surface t into 4 pi r square for one bubble then uh, similarly for t into 4 pi r2 square this is of a second square and double of that for two surfaces so this will be the total surface energy initially and finally here my assumption is that uh, the shape of bubble is not changing appreciably because these x1 and x2 are uh, very very small so we can say this uh, finally uh, this uh, energy the overall it will be initial and uh, one additional term of uh, initial this part uh, will come so that is 2t into pi small r square even if we try to consider uh, we will we have to remove the those very small uh, terms here so those terms i have neglected here you can say uh, the first bubble uh, area has decreased slightly and this one also has decreased slightly so compared to that this will be negligible otherwise we can if we want to find uh, more accurate uh, solution then we have to go for uh, you can say uh, surface area logic of uh, soap bubbles we can say here we can use uh, this result uh, a is equal to 2 pi r square 1 minus cos theta that logic we can uh, use so i avoid it because it doesn't make any difference in uh, the final answer both ways final answer remains uh, same here so uh, you can say here this change in uh, surface energy is approximately 2t into pi r square which is the uh, the middle layer which is forming here its area now that d the change in energy divided by uh, delta x or which is x1 plus x2 in this case if i substitute the value of that x1 plus x2 we are going to get uh, here this in this expression 2t pi r square divided by x1 plus x2 i am going to substitute uh, value of x1 and x2 from here so you can see this expression will become a small r square by 2r1 plus small r square by 2r2 r square gets cancelled and we are going to get uh, 2 pi t 1 by 2r1 plus 1 by 2r2 and uh, if you simplify this we are going to get this answer as 4 pi t r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 this is going to be the final answer for this problem thank you